The story of Noah's Ark is found in the book of Genesis in the Bible. According to the account, God chose Noah to build an ark to save himself, his family, and a selection of animals from a worldwide flood. The ark's dimensions, as described in the Bible, were 300 cubits long, 50 cubits wide, and 30 cubits high. Various interpretations suggest that a cubit was around 45 to 52 centimeters, 18 minus 20.5 inches, resulting in an estimated length of around 135 to 155 meters, 440 minus 510 feet. Noah was instructed to bring two of every kind of land-dwelling animal, including birds, onto the ark. Additionally, he was told to bring seven pairs of every kind of clean animal, which were likely used for sacrifices after the flood. The rain poured for 40 days and 40 nights, resulting in a great flood that covered the entire earth. The floodwaters prevailed on the earth for 150 days before gradually receding. According to the biblical account, the ark came to rest on the mountains of Ararat after the floodwaters subsided. The precise location of these mountains is still a topic of discussion and exploration. After leaving the ark, Noah and his family made a covenant with God, symbolized by a rainbow. This covenant represented God's promise never to destroy the earth with a flood again. The search for the physical remains of Noah's Ark has captivated the interest of explorers, archaeologists, and adventurers for centuries. Various theories and claims have emerged regarding the possible location of the Ark, but none have been definitively proven. In the biblical account, the mountains of Ararat are mentioned as the place where the Ark came to rest after the flood. The term, Ararat, refers to a region rather than a specific mountain, and it is associated with the area in eastern Turkey near the borders of Armenia and Iran. One prominent mountain in this region is Mount Ararat, a dormant volcano with two peaks, Greater Ararat, 5,137 meters or 16,854 feet, and Lesser Ararat, 3,896 meters or 12,782 feet. Mount Ararat has been the focus of numerous expeditions and claims of sighting or finding the remains of the Ark. Throughout history, explorers and adventurers have reported sightings and made claims of discovering the Ark, but these claims have often been met with skepticism and controversy. Some individuals have presented supposed eyewitness accounts, photographs, or alleged relics as evidence of the Ark's existence, but these claims have not been widely accepted within the scientific community. In recent decades, advances in technology, such as satellite imagery and ground-penetrating radar, have been employed in attempts to locate the remains of the Ark. Some expeditions have identified anomalous formations or structures on Mount Ararat, but these have not been definitively proven to be the Ark. It is worth noting that the story of Noah's Ark holds significant religious and metaphorical meaning for many people, transcending the quest for physical evidence. It symbolizes divine protection, faith, and renewal in various religious traditions. As such, its historical or geographical accuracy is viewed differently depending on one's perspective. While the search for Noah's Ark continues, it remains a subject of speculation, intrigue, and ongoing exploration. The allure of discovering physical evidence of such a momentous biblical event continues to capture the imagination of many, even as the exact location and existence of the Ark remain elusive.